physics parameterizations. Um, so this is work uh, done with a, a number of people. Um, so the history um, motivation is that historically climate models were uh, have been run in 64-bit, um, right? Uh, floating point, and uh, this was because the Cray vector systems uh, single precision um, was that size. So um, smaller, and but um, the, uh, one of the advantages here is that you have small M per MPI rank problem size means less crash pressure. Um, four byte uh, calculations were the same as eight byte calculations. So um, this you really didn't get anything for going to to uh, to a, a smaller uh, operand um, needed for conservation, and it was just simpler. Um, so weather models have traditionally been, um, um, gosh, it's everywhere, 32-bit. Um, uh, uh, and um, so um, they had larger MPI rank problem sizes and lower precision. So, um, so the, the potential now here is that we have Vector instructions can mean that we can have um, uh, more uh, up to two two x the performance. Um, so this is again the potential, and this is this is um, um, uh, yeah. So um, so one of the questions we have is, or I think three of the questions that we're going to answer here is: uh, is correctness maintained? Does it reduce the code execution time? And uh, does it negatively impact maintainability? Um, uh, I wish I could say that this was a, a good, successful results, but um, they are results nonetheless, and so we'll, we'll step through them. So um, some of the previous results were uh, done with the Wacom. It was an implicit solver. Uh, this, was a, this was a small kernel that we cut out of, of uh, the climate model. And what it does is it really thrashes the L2 cache and the code is, is very highly vectorized. And so there's no if tests in this computational kernel. So if this doesn't run 2x um, the performance, then there's something wrong. Um, luckily, it does. So, uh, but we wanted something more, uh, much more challenging. And, and uh, so we, we chose the Morrison Gettleman uh, Microphysics version 2. Uh, DJ talked about this as, um, in his uh, talk uh, yesterday, as being able to. Um, or looking at using machine learning to, to reproduce some of the results. Um, and so this is, um, I, I would love for, um, um, I think it's a great idea to be able to, 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 uh, to do machine learning for this stuff. Um, um, it's relatively expensive. It's 5% uh, of the total CAM, CAM cost. Um, it's complex codes with lots of ifs uh, for its particular uh, uh, physical conditions. Um, we have extensive experience optimizing the code base. This was, I believe I've talked about this, um, this, uh, this initial code base uh, last year on the NEC um, vector engine, and we have a willing collaborator. So um, this is pro probably pretty basic for this, for this community. Um, what we did is we, we initially had scalar code, and you get a single, uh, single precision or a single double precision result. Um, and so we wanted um, wanted to vectorize this so to hold out the opportunity that you get um, um, vector results. So, um, so is correctness being tuned? Well, um, yeah, uh, not quite. Uh, so we, when we what we did is we we uh, we uh, ran the, the calculations in the lower precision, and they were statistically distinguishable. Um, uh, from natural variability. And um, so there was also systematic differences that were apparent in the climato climatological averages. So um, what we did is we looked at three different configurations of CAM. Um, CAM basically with, uh, with uh, double precision everywhere, uh, uh, single precision just in the uh, Morrison-Gettleman microphysics, and then, um, then really kind of a uh, we just put a couple of the expensive functions in, um, in, in a lower precision. So, um, so here's some, some 
the only pretty plots of the, of the talk. Um, so what this is, is it's the global annual mean for, uh, for, um, for snow plus ice water content. And, um, and so let, let me see if I get this right. Okay, so this is, uh, this is the default version and this is the uh, uh, single precision everywhere and this is uh, single precision just in a couple spots. So what you, what you notice here is that there's a, a systematic bias um, that occurs at the equator in the lower atmosphere. Um, and this was um, right, that you see it right here and the, uh, the single precision everywhere. So, so um, yeah, is it correct? Um, not really. Uh, we're still working on this. Um, it's non-trivial to, I think, sort out these, these issues. Um, does it reduce code execution time? Um, well, this is the next, uh, the next result that you really don't want to, uh, to say, but it is what it is. Um, so, on, uh, in the, so we had two, two different versions of this. This is the, the kernelized version where it was uh, pulled out of the, the, the code and also then in CAM, so running the full application. So we do see a speed up, um, but certainly not the 2x that you would hope. Um, and, but you know, the, the positive aspect of this here is that uh, this is really the, the, the speed up that we see when we go from Broadwell to a Skylake. Um, so this is a, a successive Intel generation. So you, you get that for, for so this is, a po this is a positive way to spin this. Um, and there's, there is variation across different MPI ranks. Uh, so you do see a 2x speed up on a few execution paths. And uh, this could be that some of our execution paths uh, are, uh, are, could benefit from additional optimization. Um, the overall impact on CAM, again, this is a small piece. Uh, it's a fairly large piece, uh, but it still is, uh, is, is re uh, relatively large. So this is a half a percent. Um, other parameterizations in CAM are significantly more expensive, like CLUB. Uh, I believe this was also mentioned. Yesterday, is they're, they're, they're talking about a even more expensive um, uh, parameterizations versus club. I, that always scares me when, they, when I see stuff that's um, uh, significantly more expensive than the most expensive parameterizations that are already in there. So um, does it reduce execution to time somewhat? Um, does it negatively impact code maintainability? Um, uh, the current version has a single switch from uh, different precisions, multiple entry points into modified code. This is, uh, this is another thing that kind of uh, we pulled on and it was not um, particularly what we wanted to see. Uh, from, so certain, uh, certain subroutines, utility routines are called from outside the main kind of uh, uh, code stack. So um, the saturation vapor pressure table calculations is used in multiple locations in CAM, and so I wanted to isolate the impact. So I needed to maintain both uh, the lower precision and the, and the double precision version, or the, 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 the double precision version for other call sites. Um, um, and so this can be done through some, some templating capability that's currently within CAM. Um, but we needed to maintain both vector and scalar versions of, of numerous subroutines. So uh, this is based upon uh, the fact that a large number of these subroutines are still used in, with scalar arguments. So, um, so, and then there's constants that have to be floating around that are different uh, precisions. Um, yes. So, uh, so uh, kind of a, it is, the, it is what it is. Um, so so uh, thinking about this, um, you know, the parameterization really was tuned as a, as a, as in double precision. And so, um, so you can, can you get correctness issues by, um, can be eliminated by just writing a, something in, in single precision to begin with and, and be eliminated by tuning it. Um, uh, simplified support for reduced precision is likely and is planned to be in the next version of CSM. And, um, and I, I'm, I'm, I, you know, not great results, but I think this is really, um, I still believe in the concept 
and uh, maybe some of the, the details that are preventing it from, from being both correct and, and real fast can be resolved. So, um, yeah, um, and this is, you know, this is really the, the point here is that you do get a, a bump to the next generation of processor. Um, and um, and it does impact code maintainability. So, all right. Thank you. Yeah.